Mike in Chicago. Mike? Hey, guys. I got a story for you that's uh, going to make Andrea Yates look like an amateur. All right. Uh, there's a woman here right now that's been charged with killing her two kids. Oh, I read the story. Pretty Seriously. sick. She stabbed each of them over 200 times. Yeah. Not, not only that, this isn't even the first one. Uh, back in 2000, they said they had a three-month-old that died in a, in a house fire. And I guess they're investigating that to see if uh, she caused that, too. The sickest part is she, uh, she stabbed one of her kids who then ran off, oh, ran away uh, yeah. downstairs. So then she stabs the other one, kills that one, goes downstairs and finishes the job. Yeah, and She's the not going to leave in. things not finished. Yeah, and then the father walks in just after this happened and ended up calling 911 while the, while the wife still has the knife in her hand. Yeah, that's great. Ridiculous. That's great. I'm sure they had a beautiful wedding, nice wedding song was playing, romantic. Dances this is going to be bride. the mother of my children. Yeah, I love her. Yeah. Oh, everybody, clink, 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 toast, toast, clink, clink, clink. Hey, kiss, kiss. You oh, are the wonderful. wind beneath yeah. my wings. Wedding photo. Well, do you think their wedding yeah. picture is smiling, staring down as she's just hacking her kids to pieces? That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, the story here has, has her just... to feed a leg to her husband. <laughs> Ugh. Described by friends as kind, caring, and godly. Yeah, there you go. God. Every well, she time. said Jesus or something told uh, told her to do it. Of course. Why don't they stop this religion thing? It seems to be the cause of a lot of deaths, more than video games, I would say, and or more than R-rated all movies, or rock and roll, and more than than uh, wars, religion caused deaths, wars, wars deaths, right? Something stuff. Definitely. A lot of wars right, guys, are based on religion. Out. More people Thank you, sir. have died over religion than something. Do you guys ever see when Voss played uh, Lenny Bruce? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Wasn't that a w- brilliant piece of acting? You know what he did? <laughs> he shaved off his goatee and just talked the way he talked. It was Lenny Bruce spitting. <laughs> and I thought, I got great reviews. We never from who? We never got uh, uh, audio of that. From no. Who? Why what? don't we have that? I don't know. We're gonna have. Nah. We're gonna have to have a Voss bash fest soon. And here's the transcript from the court cases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they need the freedom to be able to express ourselves. <laughs> He basically tried to look like his first headshot, and that was the <laughs> acting right. work he did to be <laughs> Lenny Bruce. You know, that guy might be onto something. We should do mm. hometown news, Anthony. Hometown news? Well, we're a national talk show. We certainly are. Maybe uh, maybe every once in a while we do a segment where the listeners tell us what's going on in their little town. What's the big story in your hey, town today? Hey, what's going on in your town? Well, but we we need, like, some homey uh, Americana, yeah. if I may use the word, Jim, type music to go with that. That's like kind of all nice and happy. Yeah. What's the story in your town? Oh, don't Let's worry. Let's go to, you know, and then we go somewhere, yeah. Kansas or we could, Arkansas. We could try it for the last 20 minutes of the show. And we have a horrific story. <laughs> Not, well, either that or, yeah, I mean, you, you guys got to know the show and, and what we're looking for. And, uh, of, course. of course, we'll give it the old Opie and Anthony, you know, spin. Mm-hmm. You want to give it a try? Oh, well, why not? What's happening in your town today? What's on the front page of your newspaper? Try it on the fly. Why not? You want to play uh, What's Happening in Your Town? Yeah, but uh, we need some type of music, anything, some type well, of the, happy... But, and this is the birth of a bit. Yeah, but it, I the think it we play, play this better. We'll, the next time we play this, we'll have uh, circus music, we'll have a nice intro from Steve. Don't you think Don't you think the, the story will play better with a nice musical bed? All right. Good point. I think so. What do you got? Be white is it? Music. What's happening in wait, your wait, town? Let's make sure the music's good. And now, spanning the country to find the stories affecting you. What's happening in your town? Any town, USA. Let's go to Ohio, Dave. Yeah, how's it going, guys? What's Dave. happening in your town, Dave? <laughs> hey, there, little Kia Sack. Hi, Dave. So, uh, okay, uh, I live in Akron. Uh, in uh, Cleveland papers, there's uh, in one of the black uh, suburb communities, there's a guy running for mayor, and uh, he was such a good fella and helping out the kids in the neighborhood. And, well, one night they were out, he was out arguing in his car with his wife, and uh, I guess he ended up putting one in her head. He shot his wife in the head in <laughs> Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> that's yeah, terrific. That's, that's terrific. <laughs> well, that's what's going on in Cleveland. All right, let's go to Tennessee. What's going on in your town, Scott? Hey, are you there? Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, I didn't know if it was right, Scott. 
the headlines read, fuck her up, please, and there's like five E's in it. And then underneath that it says, pasture kisses go after losing bet. What bet did he lose? Uh, you want me to read it? Well, yeah, word for word, all of it, slow. It sounds like a cute, touching story, which has no part in this segment. Well, it, it might. It's a, it's a cute special interest story. I Pastor think. Fuck's Goat? Well, <laughs> perhaps that would work. Well, what bet did he lose? Well, uh, Living Springs Baptist Church, the only church on Weekly Lane near Catsville Pike, departed from the usual service this Sunday when the Reverend Milton Hicks lived up to his promise he made to kiss and kiss a goat. It seems the children's missions class were issued a challenge to raise $750 for a special missions offering. If the money raised exceeded the goal by $100, the minister, mu the minister of music, Tony Hicks, would be forced to kiss a live goat. And if the fundraiser exceeded $1,000, the pastor would have to join in the fuckering up. Uh, wow, and that's on the front page of your paper? I swear to God, oh the daily God. news journal. This is Ooh. great. All right. Thank you, sir. It actually Speaking matched out. up to the music. We, we, yeah. yeah why, don't you, why don't you hit the Benny Hill music for the next one? Oh, what's happening in your town? Let's go to Dave in Kansas. Dave? Hello? Yes, what's happening in your town, Dave? Well, well we have a young boy who uh, got in trouble for having paintballs all over his room. and he got Oh, those darn kids. He got kind of mad at his father and uh, went and got the key to the gun cabinet and shot him in the face. <laughs> he shot his dad in the face? <laughs> with, a, with a shotgun. So, with a shotgun. Right. Fantastic. Thank you, Dave. Let's go to Fan Dick. Fan Dick, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, headline in the Miami Sun Sentinel, Judge grabbed abortion request to 13-year-old Palm Beach County girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> Abortion request to 13 year old. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to Rhode Island, Wayne. Good girl. Yeah. Hey, guys, what's going on? What's What's happening in your town, Wayne? Hey, remember that kid, that stupid idiot that killed the cop in Providence and jumped out the window? And got the crap beat yes. out of him. Yep. Well, he, uh, correctional officer's mouth, he fractured his jaw, broke his so eye socket, spit in another guy's face. Then yesterday, they're taking him to court. And the freaking idiot wouldn't let him shackle him, so they had to pepper spray him again. You guys are moron. Mm. Anyway, I'm punching out. <laughs> you know it's bombing when they throw in the editorial? <laughs> yeah. That guy's stupid. That guy's an idiot. <laughs> ah, that makes the story. That was the right. point of my story. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you guys going to help me? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's wacky. <laughs> I love the callers that just are waiting for us to save Whack. them. Zainerific, yeah. This is the only talk show where we don't save you. We're no. not going to save you. Because we could easily jump in and go and say something. And get yeah, that guy's mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that guy was a jerk. Yeah. You don't understand. Golly, gee. We're rooting against you. <laughs> right. Always. We're yeah. hoping you <laughs> fail miserably with every call. Derek in Massachusetts. How you doing? What's up, oh. Derek? Well, we got this guy who's trying to save his farmland for his cows. Um, the, the government there is trying to buy him 150 grand for his cows, for the farmland, and he's going to take his land from him. Well, this guy's got protests set up all over the place. He did a protest on the Boston Commons saying he wants to save his cows. He's got a protest going on downtown in front of the school now. And to save our cows, we can literally farm our land anymore because the government wants our, their money. Are there any other stories? <laughs> uh, not really. This is a small town. Thank you. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, thank you. Sean in Philly, what's up? What's happening in your town, Sean? Well, there was two old ladies, and they were trying to get the cheap uh, tickets to the matinee theater and tried to beat the train. And according to the paper, despite flashing lights, ring bells, the train horn, and shouts from horrified onlookers, they walked right in front and uh, got hit by a train doing 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's go to Wisconsin. Chuck, what's happening in your town? Hey, guys. A <laughs> uh, man in critical condition after falling off stool. A Hubertus man who fell off a bar stool while celebrating his 53rd birthday over the weekend was in critical condition Monday with head injuries, authorities said. <laughs> 
He was knocked unconscious falling Sunday evening at the Whiskey River Tavern on Highway 175 in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> 53 years you make it, and you die in the Whiskey Tavern by falling off your stool. <laughs> Drunken what an idiot. idiot. All right, let's go to uh, another story from PA, Anthony Ray. All right. What's uh, up? I got a hot teen bear attack in the Poconos over the weekend. <laughs> hot right. teen bear attack. Yeah, I guess two teenagers are up there, and uh, a big bear attacked them, and one of the guys was stabbing the bear, and then the bear grabbed the girl and stripped her clothes, and I guess uh, let her go after that, after she Ooh. played that. Smart bear. Yes. I think Strip it was the girl's the clothes phone. off. You think that's just the story they're telling? Uh, she's telling her parents? <laughs> Goes into the woods with a couple of guys, and they take her clothes and run. Yeah, it was a bear, I swear. Yeah. Keen claw marks on her body. <laughs> yeah. well, and the bear raped me in the ass. Yeah. Bear load on her back. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a story you can expect from Texas, Anthony. Let's Texas. get to Dwayne. Dwayne? Yeah. What's up, Dwayne? Hey, not too much, man. Hey, a 75-year-old man, he got, his, he got caught. His niece walked in on him, caught him fucking the uh, golden retriever, man. <laughs> <laughs> He was in he was in full stride when she walked in, and then this was a second offense. So now you know they can't do nothing to him, but they're going to take uh, get him for indecent exposure. Indecent what, sir? Indecent proposal. Indecent suspo- exposure. Wow. <laughs> you know you're indecent a, exposure. You're a mushmouth hillbilly. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> We're going back to Philly and talking to Josh. Josh, what's up? Yo, what's going on, guys? Hey. Got one out of Chester, PA. Three swoogies took a uh, little swimming pool, little plastic ones with a little slot on it that a two-year-old would use. Took it out into the river to try to use it as a raft. Flipped it over. Two of them were pulled out by somebody that was going by with a stick. Third one learned the hard lesson. Swoogies don't swim. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry for that. Let's go to Dugout Doug in uh, VA Beach. Virginia Before Beach, yes. Uh, Dateline, line Virginia Beach, the tip of the Bible Belt. I got a jet flying over me. Isn't that nice? Yeah, perfect timing for your phone yeah, call. Isn't that wonderful? Rather than if it crashes, hold on, hold it'll on be minute. foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get it, Doug. Rather than fight, FM 99 WNRR will remove its controversial billboard, which features the bare backs of three women. Because it's bare back of three women. The bare back of three women. Don't you guys just miss regular radio? Well, what's the what's the billboard say? It has to have a cute saying. Nah, it just says FM 99 WNRR has the back of three women. And uh, apparently the city of Norfolk has pressured them. Uh, residents and city officials have pressured them to remove it. And they're just not going to fight. They're going to remove it. Do, uh, the, do the Professor Anthony song. Uh, that's not mine. Oh, I did not? the Ricky song. Oh, yeah. the Ricky song. Yeah, Wait, yeah, you're right. not. Who does Professor Anthony? That was P. Niggity. Oh, P. Niggity. P. Niggity. I thought oh, it was Dugout Doug all the time. At you? Me too. I thought Dave it was Dugout Doug, Doug, Doug the whole time. Big line, whackbag.com. Dugout Doug did the Ricky song, not the Anthony song. <laughs> all right, there he goes. Thank you. Let's go to Nebraska. One more. Pat. I hate him anyway. Go. Oh. Hey, guys. Doug. Doug. I hope he dies in that here. car. Kidding. Go ahead, Pat. What about a girl, 17-year-old girl, and accidentally, she burned her house down, accidentally killed her brother and sister because her stepdad was uh, molesting her. Mm. And and now they uh, they arrested stepdad on a bunch of porn charges and for molesting her. Uh, the other one, this chick gave birth, 17-year-old girl gave birth to a baby and hid it in a basket and then went to the hospital <laughs> said she'd been raped and now the baby's retarded and... Uh, she's going to court for child negligence. All right, Nebraska. <laughs> wow. Wow, really coming through. Yeah, Nebraska. Hey, man, I, hey, we love you guys. I just started listening to you in December, man, and I, you guys are great, man. Oh, thank you, uh, sir. Thank you, Pat. we got to get out of here. And that ends uh, a brand-new segment called What's Happening in Your Town, in Anthony. In your town. Some were good, some not so good. The bid has potential, though. Bill Burr, Certainly thanks does. for stopping by. Anything you want to promote? you got five seconds. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be uh, Comedy Works uh, next weekend. Where? Where? Denver. Denver. we got to talk about uh, the bad Santa on, on, on Long Island. Have you heard this story, Anthony? Long Island just raises nuts. Kooks. Kooks. Joel Rifkin was a great one. Remember him? He was caught driving down the road with a dead hooker in the back of his pickup truck. Yep. And uh, <gasps> he, apparently that was the, the last in a, a line of, of dead hookers. He was a serial killer. Yeah. Got him. 
You have the uh, sub, uh, the uh, uh, oh, Long Island Colin Railroad Ferguson. gunman Colin Ferguson, who just yeah. went on the railroad, uh, had had it with white people, and just started shooting them in their seats. He was a good one. Amy Fisher, of course, shot uh, Joey Buttafuoco's wife, Mary Jo, in on, the head. On the uh, on the. Yeah, the the front door there, mm -hmm. steps there. Sorry, and then, Long Island has a great what, history. What about the guy that had the uh, dungeon? Oh, the, little Katie Beers. Katie Beers, that was a great he story. He took too. little Katie Beers and kidnapped her from some skating rink, uh, and uh, put her in this underground bunker that he built in his backyard out of plywood and buried it. And he had um, the sick thing. Uh, one of the sick things, he had a TV camera uh, in his house and a TV downstairs in the bunker that she could watch so she saw the police coming over this guy's house she was able to watch it as she's being held prisoner and yelling please help me and uh she watched the cops come talk to him and leave if that isn't like torturous that was john esposito by the way john esposito over in, bay shore. In, bay shore, in bay shore beautiful yeah. bay shore long island Wait, how long did he have her for uh ooh, how long we got that story up there I remember the story. Held her captive for 17 days. days. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a year ago. No, nah, 17 days. Ah, that's a cakewalk. No, I mean, I... I 17 I'm, days. <laughs> Where's little Katie Beers? Book her for the show. How old is she now? What year was that? That was like 92, I think, or 93. Uh, it was the end of 92, Anthony. Do some math. Was he sexually abusing her, or did he just want a kid? It kind of never... I don't think it got to, like, where he was having sex with her, but he would... I think he was trying to make her his girlfriend. Like, be nice to her and stuff. And <laughs> How old was she? How old was she? You're not helping! It's not written there? I'm looking, Anthony, for you. I'm looking. There's a whole story. I don't uh, I don't see an age. But it, it was 13 uh, years, uh, 12 years ago, this past year. I would say 8, maybe. Uh, maybe like that. How, but how old is he? 12. She was 12, years 12? 12. So she's, right. she's now 24 years old, Anthony. Jesus. 24 years old. Little 12-year-old Katie Beers held captive. That's another Long Island kook. Um, hold on one second, Anthony. We're going to try to bring the bit back here. Uh-oh. Uh, Charchi or something like that? What's your name, bro? Me? Yeah, what's your name? Oh, this is Charchi. Char... Oh. Hey. And there go all the phones. We got the gremlins today, boys and girls. The phones exploded. They just completely exploded. We had... Oh, my... Oh. Hey, hey, no, 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 oh. no! Oh, just let's oh. roll. Well, Katie Beers I, reminded me of a story in California anyway about a girl named Colleen Stan. She's an adult. Mm -hmm. She was kidnapped by this guy Cameron and his wife and held captive for seven years. Seven years. And they built a coffin under their bed. And I mean, they both sexually abused her and raped her, and they made her sleep. In a, it's, it's, it's a claustrophobic nightmare in a coffin under their bed. They had, like, air holes in the foot of the coffin. I believe she was chained in the coffin, Whoa. And, and then they built an underground thing like that. They had an went, underground bunker, and they kept her for seven years? Seven years. Eventually, they let her go out to work. He blackmailed her into thinking he bought her in a white slavery ring, and after years of this, he believed that her family would be killed. She, she really thought her family... He actually let her go home and see her family one time, and she came back. Now, see, I don't buy that. Oh, she, oh they, they said that she was, uh, she, she had been, she was made nuts, and the only reason she ever realized it was bullshit is because the wife... When he started building extra shackles in this bunker, he wanted to have like a harem of slaves. Uh huh. I think the wife freaked out and told the girl Colleen, "We never, there is no white slavery. We, there's no slavery ring. Your family's not in danger or whatever. You're not." And, and then she went and told the cops. But th she actually was home. She visited her her parents and she, yeah, didn't say, "Holy shit, I'm being held ca held captive." She went back. She went back? That's wacky. Well, he let her at one point. He used to chain her in the bathroom, and then one of his kids found her, so then they made her sleep in the coffin again. <laughs> it's it's a, a claustrophobic nightmare. Colleen Stan, look her up. There's, I forget the name of the book, but it's probably the worst thing I've ever read. For That's a little odd, like that other girl that was out in, um, where the hell was she? That uh, Smart? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I know Elizabeth even, Smart? Elizabeth Smart. And she was kidnapped from her house. And then certain situations happen where she can went home at any time. Yeah, there's or call somebody or said something. Opportunities where you're in public with these people, you're dressed all weird, your face covered, you're not telling people who you are, and you're passing police and everything, and you don't go up and tell them. There's some weird little thing going on in there. You just think that everybody's in on it. Like they, this girl Colleen thought the cops were in on it. They had connections in the police department. She thought anywhere she went, 
they would be, bring her back, um, you know, like one of those awful B movie horror films. Yeah. Wow, that's she, weird. You trust the sheriff, <clears throat> like in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. Yeah. You go yeah. to the Arlie Army as a cop, and he brings you right back. In on it. <laughs> yeah. That was a great movie. I like that uh, remake. He kind of took me out there? of it, though, as much as I love him. Yeah, yeah, because it's, you know... It's Sergeant Hartman. Sergeant Hartman. Mm. Let's go back to Sharcy, or whatever her name was. Sharcy. 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 Yeah. That is a <laughs> hard name to say, hey, man. Let's I go tell get you. some Sharcy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Joni loves Sharcy. Sorry with a C on the end. <laughs> your name is awful. Sharcy. <laughs> I know. It's terrible, but hey, what can you do about your name? What kind of name is that? Um, I don't care. It was well, great. a nickname from Charlotte. Really? No, it's not. Yeah, Stop. my mom knew Here's... somebody who had an aunt named Charlotte, oh, or right. Charlotte that was nicknamed Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte's like a pretty yeah. name, though. Why think, would you change it? Yeah, I think you need to go back to the nickname uh, book. If your name was <laughs> Hildy <laughs> or Gertie. It's not Charlotte. It's Charcy, so. It stinks. Go to it's Charlotte. Not that bad. What's what's up, Sharcy? You have a nice name. I'm Watch. Um, well, is... I have a radio station here up by Beloit, Wisconsin, that's doing a bit on um, Joe the janitor. You have to call in and guess what he was humming. <laughs> and he hummed for like a minute. Oh, wow. And, a half, and it was terrible. I mean, it sounds like some old black man on a porch somewhere humming. I don't know what. Joe the janitor um, hums, and you have to guess what song he's humming. What a yeah. fantastic radio bit! Damn it, steal that one. Can I say? Ours. <laughs> I hope I hope that he's in a hospital bed humming Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's a country station. They went to a country song, and now they're on uh, commercials. So I, they haven't had anybody call in to guess what he was humming yet. So oh, that could be exciting. They uh, they might yeah. they might just uh, yeah uh, play the humming again because mm-hmm. that's what you do. You play the humming, and then you go right to the calls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they wow. might. Have been. <laughs> There was a girl. Who okay, <laughs> Jim the janitor. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try something here, Sharshi. Sharshi. Okay. I cannot even say your name. You're killing Sharshi. me today. Uh, we're gonna just keep you in the background, so you just be quiet, listen to the program. If they come back, you you just interrupt us, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. Nick from Wisconsin is saying Joe the Janitor has an album. He actually has an album wow. out there somewhere you could buy. We need some Joe the Janitor. All right. All right. You just stay there and uh, let us know if they're going back to the bit. All right. Uh, Anthony, so we got another kook on Long Island. Well, uh, Seizure Man is saying, didn't Long Island raise a psycho that kicked a dog in the liver? I think that guy <laughs> was from Long Island. <laughs> And, uh, of course, you, you can't forget uh, the Amityville Horror. The mm-hmm. Lutzes. The Lutzes. There you go. Yeah, one of the kids... Uh, actually, wasn't it the DeFeos? Well, Ronnie DeFeo, yeah. Yeah, he was the one that actually were... killed uh, killed his family. Yeah. That's well, kind of Long Island kook story right there. I, boy, I saw one of the kids on TV. He, he's talking for the first time because the new movie's out. They, they've they refused interviews all these years, and now the kid is, I don't know, upper 30s or something like that. Well, they, I saw this. This you was a kid, that? though, that w- that moved into the house after the murders, but before the Lutzes moved in. Oh. So he was in there uh, before the family that actually inspired the Amityville Horror story. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, and he, he's coming forward saying that he saw some weird things in there. And then he's claiming it's not the house. It was his stepfather or something that uh, did some of that uh, devil worshiping and said oh. something like, if you call the... If you call the devil, he's gonna he's gonna show you a thing or two. He'll show up. Yeah. I bet you he has a book too. Probably. Probably. Does. But uh, bet you he's promoting a book. Mm-hmm. All right. Here's uh, the latest kook on Long Island, and I think then at, at, after this, Anthony, I think we need to expand the bit. You know how we do that cute little neighborhood uh, news thing? Of course. What's happening in your town? What's happening in your town? I think what we'll do today is what's happening in your town, but you have to call us with uh, you know some of the kooks that uh, you remember from your town. Kooks from your town from the news, yeah. Because I think we've had uh, quite a run, Long Island, mm-hmm. and I don't think you guys could beat us around the country there. Oh, Fred from Jonestown's on the line. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not taking any calls from Chicago because we want to beat out Chicago today. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Santa likes to slay critters. This guy is a kook. A Long Island bad Santa has been busted for allegedly trapping animals in his yard, then torturing and killing them, Anthony. Nice. Uh, William Thomas, 76, of Baylor Place in East Northport, is accused of being a serial killer of birds, rabbits, squirrels, and raccoons. Mm-hmm. This is how Dahmer started, right? Yeah, yeah most not of them do. 70, whatever. 
Not at 76 years old. I think they better check this guy's basement. Uh, yeah. Well, Dahmer started as a kid doing that stuff, right? And then, sure. and then moved on to uh, Filipino boys. Drilling little holes in their skulls. The Loatian fella? Oh, my God. He drilled a hole in his head. While he was alive? Yeah. and and Because he was all drugged out. And uh, Jeffrey Dahmer took a, a hand drill with a tiny little drill bit and drilled a hole in his head right into his brain. And... Uh, the, the kid wakes up, and he's got this splitting headache, triple vision, and he's trying to get out of the place because he's got a hole in his head. What a sick bastard. You know when you drill into wood or, or plastic with a drill? Do you think, like, little shards of brain came twisting out of the oh drill bit oh. and skull? And then the poor oh. boy stumbles out and can't get the food order right and has to call in. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of horrific because didn't he go to the cops and the cops brought him back? They thought it was a lovers' quarrel. The yeah. cops gave the kid back. So that's a story where it did happen like that. He goes to the cops, uh, asks for help. Uh, Dahmer t- uh, tells the cops that it's just a lovers' spat, and they leave him back with this guy that uh, then kills him. He, he ran out naked. Whew. And that kid's family sued the, I think it was Milwaukee or yeah. Wisconsin somewhere, the, the police department. Imagine that. You're like, oh, my God, there's a chance I might get out of this because the cops are here and everything's going to be fine. Okay. Well, why don't you take them? And uh, we don't want to see this out on the street anymore. Okay, officer. I bet you that's an awkward walk back up the apartment steps. <laughs> uh, Ryan, I was kidding. I really didn't want the police to help me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, he's killing the birds, the rabbits, squirrels, raccoons. After a raid by cops in the SPCA, Thomas, who has a long white beard and likes to wear black boots and a red coat, Anthony, oh, oh, oh. was taken to a hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. Maybe he didn't like them tweeting in the morning or something, one officer said. The uh, the neighbors kind of tipped the cops off to this thing. They'd, been, they'd all been talking about it, all the neighbors. They knew this guy was a kook, but there was really nothing they could do about it. Uh, so one of the neighbors uh, took out the old handy video camera and uh, videotaped him taking birds out of this trap or a cage or something because he would capture these animals and uh, I guess whenever he felt like it he'd kill them uh, so they have a video of him taking uh, numerous birds out of the cage uh, laying them on the ground and squishing their little skulls with his boots <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, so they took the video to the cops and um, he was arrested right and by the way there are you, I forget what they're called squish videos yeah there was a thing online a while ago where women would st- in these high heel shoes would oh. squish animals mm. with their heels and guys would jack mm. off watching this okay I can't even see I where can't there is a bit of sexual or Gross. Anything you would want there while you're jacking. It's it's got to be the death of the of the animal or the power of the female shoe or the woman. It, oh, it's some very, really very good, sick mm. submission. But I mean, it was a big thing. I I never saw one. Yeah. Any type of animal cruelty is just sick anyway. But why? Wow. How could you jack off to that? Yeah. People what? think I'm a silly goose because I like a log on the chest, but it just straightens you right out. No one gets hurt, and you certainly don't want to squish it. Makes cleanup messier. Elbow the ribs. Uh, shark shade. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? This is really hard to listen to two radio shows at once, you know. Really? Mm. All right. Well, you want to give up on this? I mean, you gave us the bit, I guess. Well, I think I accidentally lost the station, but now I have one that's doing Derby Horse or not. They're giving a name, and you have to call in and guess whether it's a Derby Horse or not. Or if it's a fake name that they funny made up at the radio uh, thing. Derby Horse or not. Oh, my uh-huh. God. Boy, but they, they're, the you one, know, they're pumping the bits out. you gotta give it. Yeah. Uh, got to give them credit. The woman that won, uh, you know, her question was, Sally Sunshine, was that a derby horse or not? And she guessed, no, it was not. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, How a... about Harry Hackbit? <laughs> 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 or fucking Willie One Market. <laughs> Yuck. Wow, that's awful. Uh, people reminding yeah, us, Long Island, Long Island also had um, the devil-worshipping killing in Northport. Oh, yeah. Remember that one? And then there was the other one in Northport. Northport and East Northport just raising some real animals. Where um, some guy strangled a, a teen on her front lawn and left her kind of under a tree on her front lawn. That was um, that was about a block down from my grandma's house. So every time I go to grandma's house for Thanksgiving, I look at the lawn and go, ah, that's where the dead chick was. You have a better story, though. Let me say goodbye to Sharshi before I set you up. Sharshi. Sharshi. I told her. I can't say her name. Sharshi. Sharshi. Hard. Three-year-olds say my name really easily, but adults always seem to have trouble with it. I have Char- problems with S's. 
Char. Charcy. 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 It's kind of like Charlie with an S. My hey, do they call you Charce? Yeah. Hey, Charce. Oh, I've had a million nicknames from it, yeah. Char, cha-cha. Uh, call me whatever you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. All right, we got to let you go. Or we got to let you We're going to let you be. Yeah, they're telling us we got to get you out of here, Charce. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no one came in here. Shut up. <laughs> Don't wreck the bit, man. Ooh. I, I have a suggestion, though, for you guys. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I know a long time ago you talked about maybe going on the road in a truck. Yeah, they're, th- they're still talking about this uh, yeah. ONA road trip thing. Yeah. Well, I'm a truck driver, and I think you guys should come with me. Ooh. You are. Oh, hey. Oh, well, now you're talking. What's your handle, Charcy? My handle is Little Shark. Little, little shark. shark. So you're sh- yeah. all right. So you're a small trucker, I guess, huh? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I'm little. Uh, uh-uh, really? I'm little. No, I am. Oh boy! Oh, oh no! Boy. Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! We we heard the hesitation. We're, we've we've been at this game a long time, Shark. Right? You're, you're short, but you're not little, right? All right, what's I'm the, very little. All right, actually. but there's definitely a problem. Well, yeah, you know what, though? We all have no, uh, some please. kind of problem with our body. Where's so the problem, Where's Mary? the problem? Please, listen, <laughs> I sent Danny a picture of me last week because I called about... Oh, Danny. Danny holding out. Danny keeping Danny. his uh, your picture for himself, it looks like. It's probably not the greatest picture, but... Um, Come here, Danny. Now, anyway, he asked me what I looked like, and I told him, and he didn't believe me. So <laughs> what? I why is I Danny asking you what the <laughs> motherfucker? Hold on, Charcy. Why are you asking the callers what they look like if they're of the it's female the same picture? It's, what it's, what it's, do you think you are, Jimmy Norton? <laughs> yeah. Because I think I think what had happened was I was trying to persuade her to uh, do some guess what's in my pants, and I know how you guys like pictures. Uh-huh. So she uh, she sent a picture to my email. Never got to play, but... Why didn't you share it with us? So you're persuading oh, I can, her without ever telling us that that was your plan <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> you really just tried to make it about the show. I know. I was trying to see if yeah, she was trying to help out the show. I wasn't going to tell you about it. But... <laughs> you have the picture? Yeah, it's in my email. I can get it. Oh, print that out. Well, Let's see. What does she look like? She's uh, on the phone right now. Average... Average yeah, blonde girl. I'm not yeah. really that photogenic, but oh, boy. it's a picture. Oh, you know, I, I'm not that photogenic either. I'm not. All right. Really, it's true. It's off a camera phone, so the quality isn't that. Okay. Camera phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny was doing it for the show. That's why right, I like okay, this Danny. Danny's a go-getter. I had her call up and... I jerked off at home asking what she looked like, just for the show, to hear her voice. Oh, <laughs> right, Jim. <laughs> if the voice had the right tone for the for the boys. Oh, yeah, only if they would like it on the show. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Danny. Well, good thing we found out, because now we can thank you for helping the show out Thanks like that. Thanks a lot, Danny. <laughs> Jesus. Good kid. Thanks for that sacrifice. All right, Sharky. <laughs> sacrifice. We're going to stop paying that kid, bastard. Yeah, we're, we're, th- we're trying to figure out this whole ONA road trip thing. We might turn into some kind of ONA fan appreciation thing and go across the country and, I don't know, maybe do an impromptu comedy show at a truck stop. Mm-hmm. Just get all crazy out there on the road. Yeah, act I like Pickle Park Pete's, whatever the fuck they're called. I don't Pickle know. Park Pete's. Pete. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Thank you, Sharky. Okay, you're welcome. Bye, Sharky. There goes Truck Sharky. Sharky. Shark- Shark- it could it could be cool if we do this road trip thing. I mean, we uh, they want us to they want to start us in Seattle and slowly make our way back to New York. And it would be cool if like all of a sudden people just started following you know the broadcast buses oh, and stuff. And annoying. It would be a major convoy. Us. Be a major wreck. All right. Uh, Remember that Don Rickles show, CPO Charcy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, you are going back. I'm old. Anthony, we're ready to span America now. Oh. Ooh. We're going to do a, a little version of uh, what's happening in your town. What's happening in your town? Uh, usually we go for the headline of the day, but today we're going to we're going to find out if there's more kooks in America like there are in the Long Island area. Long Island, we got that kook that was stepping on animals' heads. It's our story today. That's what's in our news. All right, let's hit that there, Eric Hawk. The boss wants something. Uh, wow, we have gremlins today. Eric can't work under pressure. No, it's not even his fault. The screen is just blinking on and I off. I like to just blame Eric. Eric, fix it. All right, hit it. From flip a baby to flipped over school buses, from kidnapping to kid drowning, there are heartwarming stories all over this great land. It's time to tell the world what's happening in your town. All right, let's start with Danny in Indiana. 
Steve came up with that bed. Jesus, Steve. Steve. I was wondering if you could get a dead kid into the promo. <laughs> it's not really a promo. It's more of a insane. Danny, what's up? Uh, about, oh, I guess it's been about a year now. There was a guy over here in Indiana that took a chicken to a hotel, cut its beak off, fucked its brains out and killed it, and then told the cops that he didn't do it. So in Indiana, there's men cutting the feet off and fucking chickens. Yeah. No, did he cut the feet or the beak off? The beak. Oh, the beak? I thought he said the feet. Nah, the beak, that's yeah. a smarter move because the beak, those little fellas will turn around and poke you in the thighs. I thought the story sounded a little weird with cutting the feet off. You but know, now you, it makes sense. I don't understand how you fuck a healthy chicken, but how do you fuck one squawking with no beak, like there's blood oh, all over your sheets? Bloody chicken head. And you know it's not taking it quietly. His little feet are kicking at you. I saw a video once of a German guy having sex with a chicken. Yes. Uh, uh, and, I've seen and, that. And he's going, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the chicken is going like... <laughs> that will sound like Terry Schiavo. <laughs> <laughs> it was just these long, like, oh, I'm being fucked. Oh, I'm a chicken, and he's fucking... Yeah, it's like, oh, it's not bad enough. My life is a chicken. Yeah, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken in this life. I could have been any life form, and they, and good old God gave me the chicken body. And this Nazi's just pumping away, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you keep a rod through that? How do you not? <laughs> <laughs> very cute chicken. Good point, Ed. <laughs> not like it was an ugly chicken. That's true. He's not a faggot. It was a hen. Danny, what happened to that guy? I, I think he's at a mental hospital now, but I wouldn't swear to it. It kind of got lost along with all the other murders going on in Gary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. She's hot, Charcy. Well, you know, guys, have a good day. All right. Charcy's cute. Yeah, that's a pretty picture. Yeah, thumbs up for Charcy. Is it from a, a camera phone? In this yeah. picture, yeah, she kind of... She says she's not photogenic. She's photogenic. She's not bad at all. She looks like somebody. Can't uh, figure it out. Linda Blair? It's a little like... Let me see. Okay. Paula Rabdul. Abdul. Uh, figure it out. She looks like that actress. Yeah, that actress. <laughs> that one. From kidnappings to kid drowning. <laughs> Steve is the worst. <laughs> Jesus. I just wanted to start to do a kid bitch. All right, let's, uh, let's try another one here. Matt in Jersey. Matt? Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's up, buddy? Hey, do you guys remember in uh, Westfield, New Jersey, John List? Yes, he uh, killed his whole family. And then he moved out, he burned the house, and then moved down to Virginia. Started a new family, and then 17 years later, was caught by the police. Was it America's Most Wanted that caught him? Oh, yeah. It was. They made that bust of him, that uh, how he would look nowadays. Oh, yeah. And they nailed it. And all of a sudden, Science. somebody saw that and went, oh, my God, he's, he, he was at the grocery store last yeah, week. I know this guy. <laughs> that kind of sucks, man. <laughs> he thought, I mean, that's got to be worse than getting caught right away. You think you're finally... In the clear. Think you're in the clear. 17 years later, a whole new life. They come up with this new science that just hangs your ass. How do we not have calls from California? How do we not have calls from Atlanta mm -hmm. uh, or Chicago or Wisconsin? All right, let's How go. To, these yeah. calls I don't know. Let's go to Pete in New York. Pete, what's up? Hey, guys. What's up, man? Hey. You guys fucking rock. I just want to tell you. Oh, uh, thank um, you. A few years ago, I was coming home from uh, from school one day, and I saw a whole bunch of hot compass and chopped his like. Uh, news 4, Channel 7. What happened was there was a, uh, a serial killer here, and he had murdered eight hookers and had stored them up in his house with it, where he lived with his parents. And he had them stored up in the attic, soaked in bleach, and, like, the house would reek. So what happened was with, when all these choppers were here, uh, I knew a couple of the city of uh, Poughkeepsie cops. And what happened was, like, out, like, when they were taking out the bodies, I was standing right there. There's a whole crowd. And once the door opened, everybody started gagging and almost threw up. It was like, it was in the papers all over the place. The guy's name was Kendall Francois. But now, now, did he get arrested or was there other um, litigation? Yeah, he had gotten arrested at that point. How much like, time did he get? Uh, he's got. You know money. if he had a lawyer? I don't think he had a lawyer, man. <laughs> I think he's All done. right. He had a hooker stored up there. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. No problem, man. Take care, guys. we got to break into this fine bit because there's a guy in the line claiming that he lives in uh, the house that Anthony paid for. Really? We're, we were talking about this earlier in the show. Steve in Huntington. Steve? What's up, Steve? Yes. How are you doing today? Hey, good, man. 
Hey, Tony, I just want to thank you for the uh, lovely place I live in there in uh, Huntington with Wendy. Really? Oh, yeah. You I live... Love the program. You what? I love the program. I appreciate the uh, money and everything you're making to pay for my place. No, do you really live there? Yeah, man. H how does that work? Uh, you know, pretty good. Works no. out pretty good. No, I mean, are you renting a room or are you her boyfriend? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm living there. You're living there? You rent a room? No, uh-uh. Why, why are you being so mysterious? It doesn't... Because well, you, you have to be, you know. You don't want to get the lawyers involved. Dude, no. I don't care. It Who, doesn't care. I really don't care. I just want to hear uh, how the house is. Oh, the house is beautiful. You don't have to come out anytime you want. Have dinner. <laughs> Bring your girlfriend yes. with you. Are you Asshole. just being an ass? He's lying. <laughs> yeah, he's lying. Punch it out. I was right. hoping it was. I want to hear how my house is. That would have been some good I've radio seen right it. there. I want to hear what it's like, because I, I, I do recall, like, in the, the house before she bought the house she has now, the one she was living in, that I actually got thrown out of, yeah. that one. Um, I was I, I know there were people that were renting rooms in there, so I thought maybe it was a guy like that that was renting a room. I'd love to hear some of the horror stories. Hey, it's nice. Uh, do you, does she wake you up when she uh, falls in the house? <laughs> <laughs> falls in the front door? Should we go back to the bit? Sure. All right, we got to replay the intro there. Hit that intro again there. From flipper babies to flipped over school buses, from kidnappings to kid drowning, there are heartwarming stories all over this great land. It's time to tell the world what's happening in your town. All right, let's go to Baltimore and say hi to Kurt. Kurt, what's up? Hey, hey guys, it's Kurt. Uh, this guy stole a car in uh, Baltimore, and uh, the cops recovered it and towed it away, and then um, what happened, I guess, is he uh, forgot his wallet in the car, and uh, he reported it stolen, and he was arrested, of course. Wait, was that in Baltimore? Yes, it was. He steals the car. Yeah, stole the car. Yeah. And the cops found it, recovered it, towed it away. He came out, saw that his new car that he you know, acquired, I guess, was gone, so he reported it stolen. Oh, he reported it, the stolen car stolen. What? A, yeah. Wow, what an idiot. That's a good. What one. an idiot. Exactly. Anyway, punching out. All right. No one's dead though in that one. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't much tragedy in that one. Yeah. Well, which one do you want to go to? Um, let's start with Nick in Wisconsin. Nick, what's up? Well, uh, the uh, coroner in Rock County, Wisconsin, was arrested on drug and theft charges. She was stealing drugs from the dead. Uh, stealing what? Drugs from she, the she dead? She was stealing pain medication from dead people. That's pain just, medication. Well, how, do you, how do you do that? It just happens to be in their pockets or something? She pocket them from the scenes. Oh, from the scene. Of, oh, okay. So she goes over there to pick up the dead body, and then she's going to... Wow, that's not, not a bad uh, gig, if you yeah, think about you know, it. Yeah, you know, she'd like cash money, too, that was like sent to the coroner's office, but it would be written in her name, and then she'd just cash it and keep the money. Can you imagine? That's not a bad gig. If you're, if, you're into, if you're into, you know, uh, drugs and stuff, and you happen to be a coroner, you have to go to these houses. No one else is in the house. Go through their medicine cabinet. Who's going to miss a few pills from the medicine cabinet? Right, they're not yeah. going to need them. Wow. She's 63. She was wondering how this is going to affect her job. Right. I don't know. I'm like, fucking dolt. Uh... Yeah, you really are. Punch out, buddy. Yeah, I'm out. All right. Let's go uh, to Joe in New Jersey. Joe? Yeah, how's it going, guys? What's up? Hey, there's this radio guy in New York. Yeah. Where every time he gets a thought and or idea, it gets stolen. <laughs> it's really bizarre. <laughs> wow, that sounds strange. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, every time he gets an idea, it just gets stolen out of his head. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow, that is amazing. I'd hate to be that guy. Shake it up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to play. All right, well, I, there you go. I can. I guess that's enough. Mm -hmm. Now here's one more. We'll go to Delaware. We'll end. We'll we'll end uh, with Joe in Delaware. Joe. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? What's hey, up, Joe? Yeah, we got Tom Capano here in Delaware. He's a guy who uh, killed his secretary, stuffed her in a cooler, and took her out in the water, tried to sink her. But uh, the cooler didn't sink, so his brother pumped some shots, pumped some shots into it, and it still wouldn't sink. So they took it out, chained her up, and just let her go. And how did they find the uh, secretary in the cooler? Uh, I think his brother squealed. Ah, oh, brother. And uh, wow, what well, an ass. They chained what up and let it go. 
They chained up her body and let it go. Still in the cooler? No, into the water. The cooler wouldn't sink. Oh, they, uh, oh, all right. They bailed on the cooler, just chained up the body, and and uh, and that uh, sunk it. Yeah. All right. Why did he kill her? I don't know. It's probably the normal affair stuff. It seems to me the only real way to do it, if you want to sink something like that, is to put it in a block of cement. After you do your murder, you got to take the body and put it in, just encase it in concrete. And then throw it in the water. That way, nothing's floating to the top. None of that pesky evidence. Yeah, but then you need a couple of buddies to help you with the the block of cement. No, you got to do it all alone too somehow. Too many people around. But then you, you know you're found buying cement. They find out. What did you need all that cement for? There's no way around it. Yep. What do you do then? You can't go to off Modesto in a rowboat and throw her over. The pesky little kid comes out. You you drop one in and two come out. <laughs> What do you do? How do you get rid of it? What you do chop you it up. do? I think the wood chip. Well, I, the wood chipper doesn't even work because there was a story where a guy uh, wood chippered his wife, and they found a piece of her nail bed, a piece of the flesh under a, a fingernail, and they did testing on it, and boom, he was busted. That's all they found. That's in the all they found uh, on the shoreline. He went down to a lake, and uh, took the wood chipper by the lake. And chipped her and let her pieces fly into the lake. Wow! Which is, you know, pretty Fish food. Pretty damn good idea. And uh, one little piece of her flesh. They did testing on it and everything. What, are you serious? I swear to you. That's the story. One little piece of flesh. What are you thinking when you put your someone you've been fucking? Oh my you're god! You're putting their leg in a wood chipper. I mean, that's got to be kind of creepy. You have to go somewhere else. I think. I don't think you could go. Wow! I'm wood chipping my ex loved one. You got to be like. La, 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 this is not a wood chipper. I am not chipping somebody. <laughs> there have to be some happy memories. Maybe that one moment at the meeting where she wiped, where she wiped cake on your face. Oh, and yeah, that, that flashes in your head as you're putting an arm in that there. That was kind of funny. <laughs> you saved the tits for last because they were your favorite part. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and there has to be a part where it's like, oh, look, I'm putting the pussy in. <laughs> like, you, you know each part, and that part's got to be like, oh, I'm putting it. Oh, here it goes. Are you puking? Yeah, you got to be just puking. I don't care if you're a psychopath. What kind of drugs do you have to take right. before you're able to even do that? You, oh, my God, just a thought, even. What do you do if someone walks up on you? How do you explain a foot sticking out of the old mm -hmm. wood chipper? Mm -hmm. It's not what it looks like. That uh, That's a Fargo scene right there. Yeah. 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 Ooh. All right, we're going to break. I don't know what you do with somebody, though. you, you got to throw them in the ocean. put gas all over them, in their mouth, and anywhere there might be DNA evidence, and you light them on fire. Yeah. You destroy any type of fiber evidence. I don't I'm know. I'm speculating. <laughs> <laughs> then your uh, gas station with their cameras. What are you doing buying your can of gas? Damn Some gas station. Maybe you know. siphon cameras. out of your tank. Sure. Do something like that. Yeah. Then what do you do with the the burnt up bones? You can't you, get a fire going that hot where it's going to burn up the bones. They need like, like a crematorium for that. No, no. Well, they're going to know who it is. But I'm just saying any evidence of what you did will probably be burned away. Yeah, but if they find out who it is, no, you got to get rid of it completely. Oh. Let's say you offed your wife mm -hmm. like that. Now you're going to be the prime suspect regardless. So you got to make sure nothing shows up. Just put like if they didn't the find those bodies, Peterson would have gotten off the hook. I think. Yeah, I agree. They All didn't right. have bodies. All right, so guys. I don't know. Chop her up and put little... Yeah, it's tough. Wait, this guy... Uh, was that story in Pennsylvania, Anthony? Um, yeah, I think the it was. The wood chipper? Yeah. Jim in Pennsylvania, what's up? Yo, what's going on? Hey. Uh, yeah, that lake was in Connecticut, man. Oh, Connecticut. Okay. Yeah, somebody's saying New it was in Connecticut. Yeah, Newtown, Connecticut. I live on that lake. Really? Guy rolled the wood chipper, rented it, rolled it down, chipped her up. They found a tooth on the shore. Oh, it was a tooth? Yeah, a cop actually drove by and saw him I with the chipper, but thought he was broke down. I'm still going with my fingernail thumb thing. Yeah? Yeah. Well, well, it could have been a fingernail, but it was a tooth. And uh, But how did they know to even look there? Because there was some, uh, apparently a utility worker was out there at 3 in the morning and noticed it, and then when the woman was missing, and they found out this guy rented a chipper, he called it in. Oh, uh, somebody how'd, will always see. How'd the guy clean out the wood chipper? How do you not have any DNA evidence left in a wood chipper? Well, it was before, before DNA. It was probably... 
12, 13 years ago. Nah, he I must have college. really hosed that thing down. Well, there's still blood. Even 13, 20 years ago, they could still do a little yeah. blood sample. or a. I think he must have really cleaned that thing off. Piece of eye. But the best part about it was, like, three, two years later, there's a sandbar. Somebody put a mailbox out on the sandbar with a woman's name on it. Oh, oh my That's God. That's pretty funny. <laughs> what creeps. Jesus. It, uh, it lasted about 15 minutes, but I saw it out there. I live right on the sandbar, and there was a mailbox out there with her name on it. That is creepy. So is the, did the guy get in trouble? Yeah, he's still in jail. He was like an airline pilot. He killed her in the bedroom, remodeled the whole house, and then chipped her up. Some guy's saying, I know the case. The guy froze the body, and he put her in the chipper. He was on a bridge chipping her into the river. They found no, the, the nail bridge, on the riverbank. There's a bridge right there, but he was actually on the riverbank next to yeah, the bridge. I know the exact spot he was. Uh, Dr. Gonzo from Whackbag is saying, is America's funniest mom Andrea Yates? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, punch it out. All right, thank you. Joe. She is because she has five little jokes. She's gonna spring on her husband. <laughs> Holy crap! I thought for Mother's Day we would just avoid that one lousy day. Chuckle, 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 chuckle. Charles in Jersey. Good morning, boys. What's going on? Well, we're trying to break, but uh, you got something uh, here. What? What is it there? Everybody knows the only way to get rid of a body is to put it in a 55-gallon drum and pour tobacco juice and crabs on it. Yeah, we got to bring back that bit. Mm. That really didn't make sense, my friend. Yeah, yeah. but watching out. Reminded us a little really, bit. Really, Anthony, bad. before we go to break, uh, mm. talking about this murder crap. Yeah, you got to tell a story about your old house that ended up on the news. Oh yeah, right after we moved out. This is a sick story. How old were you when you moved out? Um. About you were, fifteen, and you were, uh, and this uh, house was in East Northport or something like that. Yeah, East Northport. This was one of the houses you grew up in. It was in Elwood, behind Fred's Diner on Barry Place. How many? Uh, look it up. How many years were you uh, living there? Um, quite a few. Well, I lived there when I was a real little kid, like maybe uh, eleven, and then I went to California and lived there till I was about fifteen, and then uh, came back and lived at this house for a little while again because my mother and uh, brother and sister were here. So uh, we moved out, and uh, a nice family moved in. I guess it was a, a father who had custody of his two kids, a boy and a girl, a uh, uh, son and daughter about, I guess the son was, I'm guessing, probably 9 or 10, and the daughter was 12, 13, somewhere around there. And I just want to paint the picture. This was the house where you had the Christmas tree and all the presents oh, for everybody. Some and... of the best childhood memories ever. It was really nice. We what, had. Uh, when you think about your childhood, this is the house, mm -hmm. pretty much. The house.